here we are back in Hoboken. This episode is Hoboken Eats. So we are taking a look at our seven dining locations of choice here in town. Honestly, there are numbers and numbers of establishments that are high quality in Hoboken. Uh, so by no means is this a ranking list because there's a different variety. We're gonna see some bakery. Um, sushi is where we're gonna talk about right now. We just stepped out of there for lunch. Barbecue, um, yeah, Latin food, uh, deli. So there's gonna be a little bit of a blend today. Seven destinations. And with that lucky seven, we're also going to be giving away a gift card. All right, so here's the deal. If you are the seventh commenter on this section, the comment can be a recommendation, any kind of comments on some of the places you've been, maybe even some thoughts on the places that we went today. Uh, the seventh comment is going to get a $25 gift card. Stick around to the end. I'll tell you exactly where that gift card is too. All right, so uh, just stepped out of uh, Okinawa. Uh, it's a sushi bar. Uh, right here in a little shopping stretch. I'm gonna pan around just a little. We are at the corner of Newark and Grand. You're gonna see my lovely wife in the background. All right, so she's participating with me today uh, for this episode. So uh, Okinawa uh, Sushi Bar and Grill, we uh, did the lunch special. Uh, it was a $15 for uh, two rolls and either super salad. So the shrimp tempura and the California roll were excellent. So thumbs up as far as I'm concerned in terms of this being a, uh, a destination that lives up to the reputation. So we are, like I said before, we're gonna take a little bit of a tour, not properties today, more so just neighborhood eats. All right, so glad you're joining with us today and let's go for the ride. We are at the go-to place to eat here in Hoboken. I mentioned earlier, this is not really a ranking list of what we're doing in this particular episode. However, this is the spot. It has the history, uh, has the reputation, has the unique brick oven grill uh, that you're not gonna find in many restaurants at all, right here at Antique. So uh, first of all, for those who are joining us again, all of those Jersey hunters, thanks again for joining us. If you're new to the channel, appreciate you joining. Please do click like, subscribe, and the notification bell to stay aware of upcoming episodes. As you can see, just like we're doing here, our upcoming episodes are gonna be a bit of a blend. We're gonna have some market information. We're also gonna have some information about the local dining scene, social scene, entertainment, recreation, you name it. So we're here at, as you can see behind me, bar and bakery. Um, this spot uh, has a lot of history dating back to, I wanna say 1896. Uh, this, from a historical standpoint, was the place that chairman of the board, uh, Frank Sinatra, came as a kid. Uh, this, this has been, uh, uh, historically always been a bakery with both Italian and French breads at the very least, right? So that has always been a staple. It's far more than, than bread here. Just Google this, you'll see even some videos on what they do with that brick oven. It's amazing. When Frank Sinatra became this, you know, world known, renowned uh, entertainer, uh, the word was that he would still order bread from this location, all right? Have it picked up and shipped to wherever he was. This is something that uh, if you are visiting town, you certainly want to make a stop right here. Just pan around a little bit. You see there's an outdoor space as well for dining purposes as well as right here on the street. I'm gonna step inside so you can... Right now they have the, uh, the window open, so I'm not sure if I can actually step in right now. They really open later during the day but you can stop and pick up some bread and some stuffed breads uh, if, you, if you wanted to. So uh, this is our second stop, but definitely the place in Hoboken. If you're gonna dine, this is the place that you wanna be, both from a historical standpoint and a quality standpoint, this is it, all right? Keep joining with us for this particular tour. We're gonna still hit another five spots. And remember, if you are making comments here, I'm encouraging you to do so because Comment number seven is going to get a special gift. We'll get more into that at the end, so stick around. See you there. Stop number three is the downtown location for La Isla. Now, this is one of my personal favorites here. Uh, the uptown location does have same menu, same cuisine, more of a contemporary restaurant feel. I'm a fan of this a little bit, so you'll see the sign. This La Isla, this is more of your, 
in my opinion, that mom and pop feel. You walk into the restaurant, there's a small eating area. You can see a lot of people uh, choose to eat out here on, on the sidewalk, We're right here on Washington, just to pan around a little bit. So you can see where we are in terms of the general scene that is. But this one, I don't know, I just feel the love, like it's grandma, right? Or your old auntie cooking for you. Excellent, excellent Cuban cuisine. We have another uh, Latino or Cuban spot uh, specifically coming up as well at DQ. But this one, definitely worth the stop. If you are looking for more of the traditional dining scene, you definitely opt for the uptown location. Uh, but your classics are here, like your, uh, your beans and rice, your pork chops, the sauteed onions, uh, the, the, the pulled pork, uh, the plantain. Oh my gosh, it's already ate and it's already you know stirring my, my, my palate right now. Uh, this is great, great location. This is number three. And again, if you're already in the process of making comments, keep dropping them. Be number seven for that gift certificate that we're gonna get into more specifically at the end. All right, I'll see you then. Here, you can see we are now at the Cuban. They are getting things set up. You can see we are now at the Cuban. They're rollout they are grass things set on the up sidewalk for the, the evening. place. Obviously, like a lot east is going to have their rollout the grass on the sidewalk. This is also a spot the where you can obviously like a lot east is going to have the same exact Latina cuisine. Vibe as a, this is also a spot where you can come for really we're talking the same exact vibe as a blog. Radio. All within um, really of we're Washington that presents just a lot of options right here block around this radio section where we are um, of Washington that uh, in Washington right now. Uh, of but most right of the spots that we're featured in today are section where we in are. the downtown section. Uh, we're at so we're going to right from now. here, uh, but most of the uh, spots that we're featuring today the are waterfront in the downtown again, section. If you have, so we're uh, going to from here. Uh, skip or maybe you just want to stop and have some cocktails have you know probably a little bit more flavor menu. You maybe you just want to stop, stop and have some. All right. Cocktails so we'll see you at the water. Probably a little bit more diversity. We're stop number menu. six of seven at this yeah, house. Is cute. All right. So this we'll is on the waterfront. Water You've seen We're this stop scene number in six of seven at the previous house episode. Of this Hobart. is on the waterfront. You've seen City this scene view in Manhattan at Sky Previous directly of outside of the city window. City view of Manhattan. See it inside. Skyline is directly outside outdoor seating as well. Of the window should House be of Q is more of a franchise spot and of course like you can see local it. outdoor seating uh, as well. establishment. House of Q is more of a franchise I have not been at this particular like one. I'm somewhat uh, uh, established at Connoisseur, uh, but I'm definitely uh, I have not been first at this particular one. I'm somewhat really good and what's just kind of okay. Connoisseur. I haven't been here, so I can't give it an up or down. I know that what's really good and what's kind of okay. I haven't been here, so I can't give it an up or a down, but I know that the scene does have very positive reviews Walk the waterfront here in town, uh, but if you're a Sinatra looking for statue scene that, uh, where you can just come and an episode, walk the waterfront, just, uh, about maybe uh, the Sinatra statue maybe a hundred feet from uh, just, uh, in my hobo street. Yeah. This is just, uh, uh, from a scene you can't beat it. Maybe a hundred feet experience of the aesthetic of sitting down underneath these trees. This is from a scene you can't beat. Nice can't beat the experience of the aesthetic of just sitting down underneath these trees. Lunch or dining experience, right? But I just can't rate up or down as to what the quality of the barbecue is. Lunch or dining experience. Uh, but I just can't rate up or down as to what right. the so of the barbecue this is, is a little, little different from what we've been seeing before because we haven't been looking really at a good. lot of uh, all right. So common this is a little different from what we've been seeing before because we haven't been the looking last at a lot stop of, that we're about to hit is, is a another Hoboken staple, kind of something uniquely Hoboken. The last stop that we're about to hit is another Hoboken staple, back into something uniquely Hoboken giveaway. Stick around for that, and again, see there. Dive back into that, that final old, stop uh, here. Giveaway of the gift card at our and son Italian Valley. This is another. We're at our final stop here at Hoboken. Vito's uh, product son here. Italian Valley. Franchise. franchise. Not gonna find it uniquely you know, Hoboken or anywhere else. Uh, product. Here. I don't think not they have franchise. another location, but I'm not 100 percent sure. No, in terms of the original. Either way, this is uniquely else. Hoboken. I don't think First they made have another location, but I'm not daily sure. Anything that you would look for in an Italian deli. First made mozzarella here, right here, daily. Anything. Sandwiches, that you would look bread, for in an Italian pepperoni, deli, uh, found uh, right right here. Yeah. Whatever it is that you know that sandwiches, uniquely, uh, bread, Italian pepperoni, deli, uh, uh, product is going to be. Whatever it is that right, you so know this that is uniquely, uh, a little further down, uh, Italian just deli, on a product on the 800 block of Washington. Right, but so this, this is a uh, spot little further that down, is known throughout just town, and even outside of town, in terms of famous places. But this is a spot that is known throughout town, here in Hope. So we're at our final stop, and I've been telling you all throughout the entire episode, we were here. Hobo. Look, so we're at our final stop. I've like been telling you all throughout this entire episode. So we were seven. looking to today. Seven lucky numbers. So those 
dropping who are comments. making so comments the seven. and you land Today, on number seven, seven lucky seven. number so comments. those not including what who are I making to. comments these are the original and you comments. land on number uh, seven get a seven. $25 comment. not including what I replied to these are the original comments and big uh, you're going to get a $25 have yourself a dining experience or an antique area that has happy hour as well so people may stop have yourself a dining experience I'll identify who that is area that has happy hour as well thank you for joining us again for I will identify who that is first and get that sent over Eat. to you. Thank you for joining related, us again right? Dining for related uh, New Jersey episode. Living. So, so please do eat, click like, related, right? Dining related uh, episode. Bell for our upcoming so episodes. please do also click, um, like have subscribe more episodes coming up. Bell like for this coming up on other towns. Jersey also, City's gonna um, be one. we have uh, Bayonne episodes coming, coming up. up. We have like Bayonne this episode on other towns. Uh, Jersey City is going to be one. Uh, Bayonne um, is so going to be another. The yeah, Bayonne coming. episode. Uh, we're going to uh, be dropping market, more uh, real estate awards well. just like this one today. Um, so uh, continue for likes the as well as comments. Uh, we're going to be dropping so, uh, more. Again, I want to thank everybody for like being today. here. You need to contact uh, for me for likes, whatever well real estate comments. reasons, or if you so, just uh, again, say, I want to thank everybody for really being here. You'll be great to the episode here. Whatever real estate reasons, or if you just want to say, hey, Corey, by all means, I really think you'll be great to the episode here, right here, even based on the given thing. So thank you all means for joining us. Contact me the next episode. It's right here in the details. So thank you again for joining us and I'll see you in the next episode.